already seen some Jizz Gourmets, let's do some more Dilly Challenge Just for Lunky, it is January 5th. Back to back Dilly Challenges, hell yeah. I appreciate it when I get the chance to, perhaps, maybe, but not really redeem myself in Spelunky. Probably not gonna happen. Probably just going to result in horrible death and disaster. But what else can we possibly expect out of this game at this point? Just horrible death and disaster is what really keeps me going. I, I just, just finding amusing ways to encounter the most disturbing and atrocious death that I can possibly produce. I am very, very glad I picked up the gold in the twice manner. It was quite cool to get that happening. There is a Robert over there. I would rather save his hide. I am done. I have reformed myself. Ah, uh, well, that was absolutely terrible. And now I need to spend a rope. Now I need to spend two ropes. <laughs> making my way back up because I'm a moron and I almost threw myself into spikes we did get free bombs out of that exchange free bombs for two ropes and uh, the loss of my dignity I would still call it worth it <laughs> only because my dignity is worth so little let's go up here get Robert Bob for friends through the exit and get this done wow that was an atrocious showing for the first level that does not bode well for the future of Paco Spelanco and his incredible adventures. I would like to get that giganto spider killed without me having to suffer from a horrible, horrible spider bite. I'm going to actually spend the bomb to kill this spider. That is just how freaking wary I am of uh, my own incompetence. I'm picking up those gems because it's looking kind of hard to get back up, especially with the dearth of ropes. I don't know how that happened. Somehow, man, this just run, this run just started me off with only two ropes. I don't know how uh, that, is, that came to be, but uh, since I got 12 bombs out of that crate, I suppose I will forgive it. Get a bomb over there. That was a poorly placed bomb, by the way. I should have placed it on top, so that way, on top of on top of opening up the area, nice, we got some ropes. On top of opening the way to the crate, we also had uh, the way open to this other other stuff up there. So I should have thought about that. Wow, this man is so dead. Not even funny how much death is contained within his skull. Might as well use the two bombs to get to, to get to this uh, crate. And since now I have ropes, Plenty of ropes. Man, so many gems over here. I would uh, even perhaps endorse having... Uh, uh, there you go. Having this, that, and this. Having left a bunch of them to go, but nah. Alright. I need all of y'all to cooperate, okay? There. Should not need this shotgun anymore. Now I have plenty of ropes, so we're going to spend a few... God damn it! <laughs> I tunnel vision to the incredible price of sacrificing Belinda to the Dark Goddess instead of just threw it through the exit. Bullshit, man. I wanted to commit murder to her person and instead I went and saved her? What the hell, man? Bullshit. Anyway, there is... There is a snake pit right here. We are still looking for the Ujarai, etc, etc. So, ooh, a vault. We're still looking at, I think we're going to take care of this bolt right now. Seems like a very, very, very easy kill on this fool. There you go. Fantastic. He is now dead. Your shopkeeper is now dead. It's going to be a challenge to get... Do I dare? I dare. Whee! Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, my shotgun killed the, my, my whoopee cushion here. Should have taken care of that, that was foolish. But hey, at least uh, the shopkeeper has got himself killed. Turn up the volume a little bit because I cannot hear anything. I was basically playing without sound. Anyway, we have a uh, pickaxe. Fantastic stuff. Give me that key. There's still one shopkeeper somewhere. Oh my goodness, there is a Kali Altar right there. You can take advantage of such great things, such as wanton sacrifice, such as 
gratuitous murder, such as being rewarded for being evil. All of these things are great. Let's put another rope up. And now we have a fantastic way to go up and down this level. See if we can get that. Well, we are definitely not... <laughs> oh, we're definitely not saving Belinda. That's for sure. Uh, I can't even make my way out of there without using this matter, but that's exactly what will happen here. Uh, I guess we'll just throw a man. Oh, there. I'm sorry, Belinda. Oh, man, I didn't want that. Uh, we'll just open up a shortcut right there. There you go. Ooh. As we could have uh, wanted to sacrifice this um, scorpion. I could have done it if I actually planned it through. Planned it through. Uh, that's just going to stay there, that giganto spider. And we're just going to make the, the time for 20 seconds here. Get this vault ghosted. Uh, lots of money to be made in this level. Too bad. Too bad. No climbing gloves or no navigational items, but at least we got 11 ropes. And because the music was still going on while this, this shopkeeper right here and the guy at the bottom was spiked, there was still shopkeeper music going on. So that means that there's also a shop here of some description. And hopefully that will mean that there will be incredible rewards at the end of this, uh, of this incredible tunnel. Mm, throw that there. I was hoping for a gem, and I got it. Alright, so I am now exploring places that I have not been to with the ghost at my heels. That's a thing that I sh you should never do. Gonna do it anyway because I don't live for my own mistakes. I am a moron. Hey. Ah, oh, man. Only. I mean, it's great to get the spike shoes for free. Let's get a shortcut going on here. Please don't kill me. All right, there's a giant spider here. Why? Why do you do this to me? I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna pick that up. I don't think I have much of a choice. My goodness, this is awful. Please, please, give me a break. Okay, we're we want to kill the giant spider. That's the thing that needs to happen. I have a uh, spike shoes now. Uh, I would love to find. Love to get a shotgun. Let's we'll get the that the that and uh, with this shotgun, I'll be able to kill the spider with impunity. Very important to be impunity, to be impune to all the enemies that show up to try to make you have a bad time. All right, let's find this giant spider. Careful with the spike, Sue. There you go. Don't want to crush it. Don't want to to, to do anything. But this should be a free kill. Beautiful. And with the Maddox, we'll be able to ghost all that junk. I mean, oh man, oh man, this is going to be great. There's so much money. <laughs> ah, ah, the greed is already coursing through my veins. It's so, so good. To the prospect of getting a ton of money. Didn't want that Maddox to be there. That is a terrible place for the Maddox. It is such a bad place. I'm going to spin a bomb to be able to ghost all that stuff so that... You know, I don't miss out on all that cash. Yeah. Yeah. So I threw away a bomb. That was basically the end result of my lack of planning. Because I did not realize that the Maddox would drop in the middle of all that stuff. That way... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright, now we need to get this far. Get the ghost to this side. Let the ghost to decide what she wants to do with her life. Or, I guess, her unlife. And now... Okay, go all straight across, please, bat. You piece of garbage! You, 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 you. That is, <laughs> is my exasperation right there. Freaking bat! Made me pick up a ruby, man. That was just profits. Lost profits right there. I'm going to charge the bat society for bat conservation. And be certain that they give me my money back. So anyway, we can get an actual ultra reward out of this. Please, please, Maddox, please. All right. Okay. <laughs> that was not the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of watched it, saw it happening, and then did it anyway, because I thought it was amusing. There, there you go. I didn't do it because I'm dumb. I did it because I thought it would be amusing, and it was. Oh. All right, let's go back up. 
there's a few diamonds over here. There's that emerald over there. There's not much else to get. In fact, I don't think there's anything else to get. So we're just going to get this ghosted and then we're going to leave the Madoka at the better bottom and then we're going to grab every single corpse in this level and we might even get a Kapala out of it. I think that if I, we had actually sacrificed the shopkeeper I didn't want to bother with earlier in the previous level, we would have gotten a Kapala in this level. So, feels bad, man. It feels real bad. Where are you, friendo? There you are. All right, we should have plenty of time now to go across and around and all sorts of uh, shenanigans. There you go. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me that. Awful idea to climb with the ghost at your heels. Awful idea. Let's go down this way. Should not get stunned. We should be caught right there. Double sacrifice! Oh, beautiful. Callie's just so enthused about our efforts here. And now... Three corpses, one dead damsel. It's not enough. But I think if I had sacrificed the... No, if I had... Sac yeah, yeah, because there's also a caveman. So if I had sacrificed the shopkeeper in the first level or the other level or there was a Kali altar, I totally would have gone in a Kapala here. That sucks. That sucks. But whatever, man. Whatever. We're going to make this work. Of course, we're going to keep the Matok. One last go around. We'll uh, get that caveman to Callie's might simply because we love to offer her flesh and she appreciates it. There you go. No Kapala for me because of my own indiscretion. Alrighty, I'm keeping the Maddox for money purposes. Uh, always kind of a bad idea if you want to survive, but we're going to make this work. Going to make this work. We have an evil cobra here, gets murdered. Uh, you don't want to liberate gems until you get to the end of the level and you deal with every shopkeeper. What you do want to do, though, is to create shortcuts for yourself. So that's exactly what we're going to do right here. Because we don't want to spend many ropes. Uh, this should work. Okay, that worked enough, I guess. Gotta kill, kill, kill every monster. What else do you have around this area? Might as well drop this all the way to the bottom. There could be something incredible in there. Absolutely nothing. And no need to go in there. We can just make ourselves a way back up. Because the, the plan here is absolutely to ghost everything. Every single gem that you're seeing right now. But I'm not going to busy myself with them until we dispose of every threat. We need to find a way to get back up with the... Uh, you know, the shotgun that we will eventually accrue, somehow, it will, it will happen. I'm pretty sure this is, a, this is a good prediction right here. And in fact, we're going to get rid of that disgusting spider. It's just too much of a hassle. Um, pretty sure an, a shotgun is going to end up in my hands, somehow. Nice. I wanted that. I wanted that very badly. I made myself a way back up, like so. There you go. Kind of complicated here. We do this. Still not a good thing. Yeah, I thought that would happen. I wanted to drop a bomb on his head. Now, this is kind of complicated. I did not mean to drop down. <laughs> Alright. I have 33 bombs. Ooh, they can get back up. I, is there spikes down there? There's not. But they will kill each other. Fantastic. Okay, that's good. I think I will spin a rope here. And to the rhythm of the glitch mob, I shall murder this asshole. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to watch this happen? Holy shit. <laughs> Give me some bombs. No, son of a bitch. How, how do they do it? How do they do it? So time it so perfectly. God damn it, I thought I had the perfect opportunity to leave. I thought I was plenty smart. And instead, because I just didn't want to get caught in that corner. Jeez, that was so bad, man. At least I did get my shotgun. I did promise you a shotgun it would end up in my hands. And the shotgun ended up in my hands. Died to shotkeeper again. I cannot believe I... That was such a noob. Noob mistake. Throwing the rope and not waiting to see that, that the man was coming. I could have easily just shot through the gap. Easily shot through the gap. So we had a, a 
Yama victory with murder and every shopkeeper in the previous episode. So I think now we're ready for some freaking speedruns. We are ready to get that happening. It is so freaking upsetting, man. It's maddening to die to something that should not have killed me. I had it all in my hands and I got crushed. I got crushed. My goodness, this is a terrible seed. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, all by my own hand. Like, there was nothing that Shopkeeper should have done to kill me. I gave him the opportunity to do so. And thus, I suffer the penance right now. Throwing myself into spikes. Uh, don't even feel like it's part of the losing streak or nothing. It's like, you know, it, what? sometimes... Spelunky will just shit on you, nothing you much you can do about it. Other times it's like, wow, I just, I just, just threw that away so hard. A terrible, terrible throw that I feel like it doesn't even count. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if this makes any logical sense, but uh, I don't know if I am explaining myself for this to make sense. Freaking skeleton. Um, but I feel like it was such a terrible and poor and egregious Bro, that I can't even be held accountable for it. Why am I killing this guy in a speedrun? I don't even know, man. Don't ask me questions. Just uh, watch the content and be uh, be merry. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Why am I even carrying the shotgun? Makes no sense. I just wanted to see that man die. Uh, and I got the mission accomplished. And now, I'm restarting. Alright, so, let's get into speedrun mentality here. Uh, let's just take it real serious. We're going to get some speed going and some actual competence. Some actual results. And by the way, results for me in a speedrun is getting out of the mines. That is good enough for me. Uh, wow, really? Look at that. Fantastic. Whoa. And since uh, getting back up is quite the pain in the ass, we're going to open that up. And now, we're getting all the way down here. So now we have Wood Jedi. <sighs> I don't think there was a way to get through that without triggering that trap. So it was a good call. I just wasted a little bit of time with it. Uh, all right. Let's go all the way down. Not going the right way. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's too to fall damage because I'm a moron. Should not have done that. I should have simply waited to see if the skeleton would reanimate or not. It was a poor choice. Because the freaking pot could have had a freaking monster. <sighs> Really, man? <laughs> Go F yourself. <laughs> Why is life so hard? I try so hard. And life is too hard. So, this game is too hard. Uh, oh, it has already been triggered. And that's gonna hurt me now. It's so good. And that should not have hurt me. I totally hit the, the whip button. Did not go through. I feel just lighted by what just happened. But we have a Ujerai. Which means the black market is findable. Well, it's always findable, but it's much easier to find than it normally would be. I'm going to take a little bit of, uh, of a long way here, like trying to be a little bit better. And in fact, we're going to do that. Spend the extra time because we already surpassed the 20 seconds. So let's get the point of health. Might as well. It makes a little bit of sense. It sucks that a dark level is uh, totally... Oh, oh, black market right there. Look at that. Hey, beautiful. So I obviously have no money. Therefore, a shopkeeper must be destroyed. Now, you know how we are going to get that happening? We're going to get that happening. No problem. No problem. Totally planned. Totally happening. Don't worry about it. Everybody. Everybody. You all, everybody. All right, there's a lot of death happening down there. I am not concerned. I am not concerned about anything. There you go. It's totally planned. Yeah. Everything is going according to plan. This is a terrible, terrible idea. That was bullshit. That was total bullshit. You know what happened there? My shot landed on the man. I suppose uh, this is silly. Uh, landed on the on the corpse. As opposed to the man that was uh, stunned, it was such a good plan. I had it, man. It was a good one. It was a good attempt. Don't feel, don't even feel bad about that one. 
uh, did not like kill myself in a horrible manner. I did not just suffer from terrible incompetence. It was just, you know, a circumstance. And it was a bad circumstance. But it worked out pretty well. Up until that point. Should I check the shop? Uh, okay, we get the, to check the shop from the bottom. There was nothing worthy of murder. Or or theft. So uh, we can simply carry on. Uh, doing speed runs sometimes. I don't know. It works to cleanse the palate a little bit. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit. Ooh, a teleporter. Why the hell not? <laughs> I am an adventurous motherfucker. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. There you go. Exit has been found. Teleporter. I've gotten quite a lot better using it. Still garbage at it. Oh, oh, the arrow, the arrow. <laughs> Still garbage at it. Oh, boy. I thought that I had the timing there. But clearly I didn't. Thought I had good timing there to, to get through. But he managed to avoid my stomping. And then managed to just punch me exactly at the right time. That was bullshit. Not feeling good about getting hit in the face. Ah, but at least I didn't kill myself with a teleporter. That's a small comfort, but it's a comfort nonetheless. What do you have, my friend? Do I even have the time to check your freaking store? You got nothing for me to be excited about. Let's go through here, exit. It's the go. And go, go forward. Go, go, go. That Dilly Chan is going to haunt me for the rest of my days. Holy shit. <laughs> A lot of bullshit is what it was. Am I going the entirely wrong way altogether? Yes, I am. So I guess I'm putting a bomb down here. Singing hello to Callie. <laughs> that is what's happening right now. I mean, I didn't make it this far. Get to the exit. Oh, almost got the 20 seconds there. But um, that could have been way better. Could have been way better. Okay, this seems doable enough. Get for that key. Never know where the chest might be. There's the key. I mean, there's the chest, and I have failed miserably because I wanted to kill this bat instead of threw the key out of reach. Once more, over 20 seconds, but we did get the Ujarai key and chest, and then the Ujarai itself. So that's pretty good. Hopefully, we can find the. We can find. I think this is worth the time, maybe? Hey, the, where is it? Where is it? You guys see it? I don't see it. I have six bombs. It's not even... Oh, it's a terrible place, isn't it? Don't do this to me, man! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Gonna piss off the shopkeepers. Are you guys seeing the location of this vault? I mean, of this... Uh, this... freaking goddamn black market. See if we can stomp this guy. Very hard. Very difficult to time it. I cannot afford to wait this long. God damn it. It was bad. It was just terrible. The, the black market was in a place that it was inaccessible. I think I finally saw the the leaves as I, I was getting pummeled to death. Wrong way. Hey, that's the exit. Beautiful. Uh, I saw the leaves, they were inside the idle area, so I don't think it was necessary to... Uh oh, okay. It was necessary to... Piss off the shopkeeper. That's what ended up happening. Cost, cost me my life, I couldn't wait any longer to stomp on that guy's head. I just decided to throw myself to the mercy of the RNG. It was pretty bad. I could have whipped that, there was no need to use that. Rope, such as there. Oh shit! Oh wow! <laughs> did not see the arrow travel. It was way too late. But I, there was the Ujara. Did not find the key. So whatever. Let's just keep going. Uh, the hell run would be nice, but I am not like 100% uh, into that or nothing. You know. Uh, only have one point of health though. So. Not going to be very successful in this uh, speed run in particular, I don't think. And, you know, watching out for... Oh, I was really hoping for that guy to have a jetpack or a teleporter. It didn't work out. Kind of difficult to make this through. Might be worth opening that. Some ropes could be really useful. Couldn't take the fast way out of there because of the bat. It would have murdered me. 
It would have been a terrible, terrible thing. So watching out for that black market. Maybe we get lucky. Sometimes it happens. Okay, this is a terrible drop. This is another terrible drop. That was a load of crap. <laughs> like I was, I was, like I did the right move if the blue frog hadn't existed. It was a, a good move. Uh, we can just take this, yeah. Donovan's still alive. He can, he can, he's a trooper. He can take it, man. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, so, you know, having pretty damn good, uh, quote-unquote, success, where a daily challenge stand... Not daily challenge. I guess also daily challenge, yes, because I am getting further than I did with the daily challenge. Freaking uh, arrow traps placed in a very inconvenient sp spots. Um, where speedruns are concerned, a lot of success getting out of the mines quite quickly. And quite effectively, too. There's the uh, Ujjad uh, Eye chest not going to go for it ah okay i gotta make my way through with two bombs only one all right let's do that get to the exit no jedi for me but that's all right i am not that emotionally attached to it i'm far more emotionally attached to the prospect of murdering every single one of the shopkeepers that i see i'm still not gonna do that so that's how emotionally attached i was to that Ujedi. jedi that was a pretty damn fast level and i feel pretty good about it my current record, I believe, is five minutes. This is totally a black market. That <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm so happy about that. Uh, so, sometimes, man, sometimes you just get lucky like that. Low shotgun. Whoop! -a. Oh, what? What's that? Don't agree, man. I guess uh, boomer has been on nothing. Don't agree! Don't agree one bit! You guys saw how I shot him in the face? A load of crap! Uh, yeah, I kinda need a tool of destruction here, or this is going to end very, very poorly for me. Very happy to kill that man. Oh! 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 Alright, got one uh, shotgun over here. I believe that they have dropped sucks that this is taking so long. Hopefully that will kill both. Totally did. Just keep digging down, bitch. We don't need the shotgun for anything else. All we want is the whip. Alright, I could have taken the opportunity to steal some more stuff. Maybe there was a jetpack. I should have checked. I should have definitely checked, I think. But, hey, we got the Ujedi. We got the Yank. We can't going to make this work. Okay. Jump straight down. Uh oh okay, it's all good. 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 <laughs> I was, I saw the man stun. It's like, okay, take the chance, but did not cling to the thing that I wanted to cling. This cape is going to hopefully make this run. Oh shit! Ooh, woo <laughs> Hey, oh boy, got to the ice cave. Sweet deal. Did I grab? I think I grabbed. Yes, I grabbed a beautiful compass. To make it to the bottom here, just casually stomp his ass and just keep going. And now we might need to kill ourselves. Definitely don't want to do it with a bomb if I can help it. What you got, my friend? Oh, you got a teleporter. I see. Do I dare? <laughs> do I dare steal a teleporter from this man? I don't think so. I think we should just go. Just count your freaking blessings here. Pretty sure. Okay, that, will, that works. Pretty sure there was no, no freaking oh, more I had here. So let's just go. I do have a parachute. I wanted to get rid of it. Oh, there's the some spikes. There you go. Amazing! This is going so well so far. <laughs> I'm so stoked to get this far in a in a speed run. It's probably going to be our last attempt. It's our 30 minutes right here. Um, I'm feeling damn good. Just Kelly out right there. Okay, okay. Kind of taking a little bit of time here. It kind of sucks that we had to spend some time making sure not we were not going to die, but it's all right. It's all good, man. Hey, we're actually going to carry this dog and just throw him at a freaking hawk, man. I want, you know what I want? To find Anubis. There's Anubis. Can't we make this happen? Uh, it's not gonna work. To kill this guy, I don't know. 
I know how uh, this is gonna work. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's the most amazing thing I've ever done? All right, let's get through this. Give me that scepter, please. Oh, jeez. Don't make... <sighs> make me spend my last bomb. 40 seconds here, but hey, this is a hell speed run. Never had a single one of those. I can't. I can't. Get out of here. Sucks. I am trapped. <laughs> I'm not trapped, actually. Did not realize that this was an option, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I am trapped. Oh, shit. Don't do this to me now. One bomb is not enough to get through. I, it might be enough. I have zero resources now. Okay, let's get through here. We're going to use this as propulsion. And then get completely crushed. <laughs> and zero resources. So that probably wasn't going anywhere. But I would have much rather have died because I got stuck instead of, you know, getting, uh, getting screwed by my own stupidity. <laughs> that was really dumb. I should have just jumped instead of trying to drop down. That was super duper stupid. But it was a good attempt. It was uh, the furthest. No, I've gotten as far as Olmec in a hell speed run. I think that's as far as I've gone. But that was pretty good. I'm feeling pretty okay about that one. Not so great about the horrible daily challenge that we will never speak up again. But at least we got that far in a speed run. Yay, I suppose. Hope that you had a good time, I, I guess, maybe. You, you were amused a little bit. <laughs> ah, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, use all of the crush traps as propulsion. What could possibly go wrong?